morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you've been with me for a while if you are new to my channel then welcome uh, my name is leslie Ann, so i'll get all the introductions out of the way first on my youtube channel you will find the videos that i film are lifestyle um, mature beauty cooking crafting there's a little bit of everything on my channel anyway today i'm going to be doing a review of this now this is the it's the remington curl revolution and it's an automatic curl creator is what it says on the box now I'll give you a little bit of history um i always just absolutely love doing my hair um i used to put my hair into lots of vintage styles and absolutely loved it over a year ago i actually had a fall and i broke my humerus here now i didn't have surgery straight away uh, because of other health issues they couldn't do it then when i was about to have surgery the pandemic hit um so obviously i'm still waiting to go in so my humerus is broken um into five pieces so i can lift my shoulder up i can pull my arm up but i can't actually use this arm to do anything with my hair so i thought i would try something i had a look at all the reviews looked at a few things on youtube and i thought i don't know maybe i'll be able to use this with the minimum amount of effort so i thought i'd give it a go um so as you can see my hair is this sort of length it's very fine um it has been prone to breakage quite a lot but i'm sort of rectifying that at the moment um i'm 63 and i have on my hair somewhere on here i have got some hair color but the top bit is all kind of just natural where the greys coming in and everything so i'm just gonna like leave that i i do you know what? i say this all the time i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna be natural not have to worry about hair color and then i get so far down the line and i think do you know what i'm not quite ready for this yet um so whether i'll change it or not i don't know but um so you know i have um because i have got some color especially like all down the ends here i need something that's going to be kind to my hair right so i haven't even taken out the box i've no idea what it looks like at all okay let's open the box and clearly if i don't like it i can't send it back because i've just seen the little stickers at either end that actually say um please do not open unless you intend to keep this product here and the same this end I don't know if that's new since all the COVID thing. I think possibly it is. So here's hoping then that I really like it. That's it, done it. I mean, on the back here, it does say um, rotating barrel automatically creates perfect curls, creates desirable loose curls effortlessly and fast. Instant curl technology automatically creates generous ribbon curls, two-way rotating barrel, for uniformed all natural curls, digital temperature display, five settings, 160 to 230, and four times protected coating, anti static ceramic tourmaline, ionic smooth glide, and automatic safety shut off within 60 minutes, well, after 60 minutes. So that's all on the back. They're in plastic and a load more cardboard. Yeah. Thought we were all trying to sort of cut down, you know. I would have thought that just the cardboard inside of the cardboard would have been enough. I don't see the point in this other than I guess maybe if the product was to get wet, but why would it? Because it left the factory yet again in wrapped it in plastic so that's not a great start but i'm not here to like pick holes in your in your packaging although i kind of am oh this is quite cute okay so it comes with and i didn't know this i didn't notice it i was just more interested in the product but it comes in a little pink quilted bag 
that says Remington on it. Um, so it's just a little protection bag for the actual styler itself. So they're the pictures to show me what to do, but I'm gonna have a quick look at the instructions. Curl type, for tight curls, one centimeter width of hair at 230. For medium curls, three centimeters, 200 degrees. For a loose curl, five centimeters at 160. We've got a longer section there opening and that's the short one there, okay? So, okay, that's on. Um, let's get it up to temperature. 160, didn't it? That's, oh, okay, righty-ho. So I hold it and it's flashing and it's currently flashing at 200 here. I've got the Tresme heat protection spray, so I'm going to go in with that. Take it down using the little minus button there. So I'm going to take it down and it's shown on 180. So I'm going to leave that to, to get to that temperature now, sort of like reduce down a bit. Just give my hair a little bit of a brush that's tangle free. Go in with my heat protection. Do you know it'd be amazing if this works because it's been so difficult not being able to just sort of like make yourself feel nice, you know? I can't even like get my hair up on my hair. I have to get my husband to help me. Right, heat protection spray on. It's still going at 180, so it hasn't cooled down enough yet. I um, might just brush that through, actually. Okay, it's there. So I've got to obviously try and use this hand a bit, just so I can get it up to hold like a section of hair. So I'm looking at the picture. So she's got a hold of her hair like this. And then she's gone shorter side and she's like fed the hair through and then she's like this. Oh actually, which way? Let's try. Okay. Right. So shorter. Okay, so it's like that. When you hold on to your hair, is what they're saying. Um, you hold it taut, and then I'll go the other way, I think. So I'm going to go like that. I let go of my hair. See what it does. I mean, it's very. I think I might go up a little bit hotter. I know it, it kind of advised me not to, but my hair notoriously is very difficult to curl. So I'm, I'm going back up to 200. Um, but that, how cute is that? That's actually quite nice, isn't it? For a little, just a little wave in your hair. But, and I've got very, very fine hair, as you can see. Right, that's back up on temperature now. So I'm going to go with the hair a little bit thicker. Trying to hold on to it with my bad arm, which is very difficult because I can't work up here, you know. So it was, it was this bit towards your face. Hold it tall. Hey, look, that's a bit better. Isn't it? That's a little bit better. I mean, there's obviously a knack to it, which I haven't got yet, but you know, let's hope I get it. <laughs> so let's go round here, pick up a bit of hair that's thicker. 
I mean, I clearly cannot spend tons of time on this because of just my arm situation. But once my arm's been operated on, which hopefully, fingers crossed, is going to be, well, it was meant to be March, then it was going to be July, then it was going to be possibly August, now they're saying September. So, yeah. It's a waiting game. Right, so I filled this. I can feel that I've got more hair in this one. So, which way did I go? No, the other way. Okay, so if you don't let go of your hair, look, it stops. So, that was good. that's not right because it curls it right up to your head so you need to be about here hold on to the end from the top because I just can't get my arm up there so I'm having to do it just this way um yes so it may not be the best way but it's the only way I think I'm really going to be able to do it master it on this side now. It's definitely a technique in holding this in the right at the right angle, you know. Mm, not perfect. I, this side can't seem to do properly. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. 
I mean, I'm not going to get it as perfect as I'd like to anyway. I know that because I just can't. I keep saying it, but I can't reach. You know, I just can't do it. So I can only try to do something because I want to be independent. Like... Okay, so if you feel like you've gone too close to your head, you can rotate the other way. Hold it there for a little bit. It's one thing watching a YouTube video, isn't it? Another thing doing it. So that was quite a big section of hair. And it has sort of waved it a little bit. Let's try some over here. I mean, it's so humid and hot, I'm not getting a proper wave. Um, but I'm not making up any excuses. I know a lot of this is down to me. And if I can just get a little element of a wave in there and feel like I've done something to my hair, then, you know, I'll be fine. I'll be happy with that. I'm sure you'd all be a lot better at doing it than I am. You've told me more than once. Yeah, I think with each strand I'm doing, I seem to be getting that little bit better. I know, not perfect, but at least I feel like I've got a little bit, you know, something going on. Right, now I think what you've got to do is once you've let go of the end and you can feel it tightening up and it feeds through, I think you've got to, if you've got a hair like mine, really fine, quite difficult to curl, You've got to then just like leave it in there for a few seconds. I think it might be even said that anyway. Hey, look! <gasps> I did it! Right. Let's try this side again. my arm you know it's so painful to faff about too much but I'm gonna try and get a back piece from here So far, I'm really pleased with it, and the more I've played around with it, I've sort of starting to get the knack. Like everything else, there's a knack, isn't there? Um, yeah, and I feel that this is going to be something that I can use until my arm's fixed. I can just use it so that my hair's like this, just a little bit of a wave in it, and then once you know I've had all my surgery and physio and everything, I think it's going to be amazing and I think it's something I'm truly going to like. That's not a bad one is it? leave it at that for now. I'll have to put a comb through it because I can't get my hand up there to, oh, nightmare. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with this. I'm just going to turn this off now. 
beautiful colour, isn't it? Little pink, pale pink, really pretty, with like the gold, um, sort of like all the gold bits on. And then, of course, you've got your 360 degrees of a swivel on the end. Really, really long lead. Love it. Um, yeah, really, really liking it. So I'm just going to let this cool down. And then I'll come back. Okay. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're going to be moving. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been, it hasn't left it in ringlets, but I think that's more to do with me and me having to practice, 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 and then I think I'll get there. However, I have got a lot more, I have got a bit of a wave, and I've got a bit more body. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a hairspray. What do you think? It looks a lot better, doesn't it? So yeah, I think it's just going to be practice makes perfect. So I hope this has helped you if you're in a similar situation to me and you're looking for ways to um, maybe add a little bit more volume or a wave or curl to your hair, you know, if you've got the use of one arm, whatever the reason may be. Um, yes, it has definitely made me feel that I can sit here at my dressing table and style my hair a bit better. So that's made me feel so much better about myself. So, yeah. It's, it's nice, it's nice for, well you saw exactly how I did it and everything, um, but yeah, absolutely loving it. If you have enjoyed this video and if you think that maybe something like this could help you do your hair, um, just to add more body as I say, then it could be worth you just investing or just maybe having a look into it to see if it's something suitable for yourself. Um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a nice big thumbs up. That always helps my channel out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. I'd appreciate it. See you in the next video. But don't forget to press that bell and then you'll know when I've done all my new uploads. So I'll see you all in the next one, my lovely. Stay safe. Stay indoors, out of the sun. It's too hot, right? Bye. Bye.